Alley Pierce Scuba Tech Tips. Here's another tech tip for you handymen, for you guys who like to service your own gear. Although this is actually something that all divers can do, even if you're not particularly mechanical or handy, this is something that you can do. And this is cleaning the purge valves. Now we already did a video on how to, how to clean and service the power inflate valve which is very important. And this is, the, this is the weak spot in all BCDs. These get corroded and break down. Well, we did that already. So, however, there are on BCs at least one, usually two, sometimes three dump valves. A dump valve, by definition, is a valve that you would use to get the air out of the BC. Power inflate valve puts it into the BC, although, as you know, you press the end, it comes out. But there are other valves designed to dump the air into the BC quickly. And that's important. The reason it's important is very simply that if you put air in the BC while you're under pressure, while you're deep 60 feet, and then you start to ascend towards the surface, if you have forgotten to let some air out of the BC, that air expands. And if you're not careful, if you don't notice it, the expanding air in the BC, which makes you more buoyant, it'll tend to shoot you towards the surface, which you don't want. Those dive boats, generally speaking, have very hard bottoms. It can be dangerous, too, in terms of diving. So if you, are, if you are find that you're rising too quickly, you can use a dump valve to quickly dump some air out of the BCD. So the dump valves are important. There's always one, almost always, there are very few BCDs now that don't have a cable-operated dump valve. That's here. And by cable-operated, I mean exactly that. This is your inflate valve. Hose attaches, you squeeze the button, shh, and the BCD inflates. It puts air in. There's a cable that runs right up through that hose to the top up here. At the top, there's a dump valve. So if you pull, I hope you all knew this, maybe you didn't, but if you pull on here, you hear that? That dump valve opens, and the air that you just put in will come out in a hurry. Okay, how do you clean that? Very simply, unscrew it. It should be on there snugly, maybe more snugly than this. This is a, a rental BC, and it's, it's a little bit loose. So if you take the dump valve off, I'll break the parts down for you. There's, and these are almost all the same. It doesn't matter which manufacturer. They're largely the same. There's a cap, screw on cap. And then there is the actual valve itself. Now, this valve itself, Kevin, I want you to zoom in here a little bit. You can see that this is what we call a mushroom valve. You can see the white portion is a silicone. It's like a mushroom. And it sits on a little, you see, can you see the spokes in there, Kevin? Yep. Yep. That's actually called a wagon wheel. It's a modern version of the old-fashioned wagon wheels that were in two-hose regulators. And even older, the wagon wheels that run buckboards in the Wild West. Yeah, that was before scuba. Anyway, that plastic thing is called the wagon wheel, and that mushroom-shaped exhaust valve is called a mushroom exhaust valve. He's diving is very logical. Anyway, now underneath that, you're going to find a nice big fat O-ring. Don't lose that O-ring. And then underneath that, you're going to find this cone-shaped part. Now, that cone-shaped part is the part, if you're going to watch that, Kevin, right there. If you watch it, I'm going to pull on this, on the power inflate valve, and that pulls the cable. Okay, you ready? Yeah. And you pull down, see? Yeah. Just pulls it down. And what that does, it lets the air come rushing up out of the BC, up past that mushroom valve. When you let go and it goes back up, shuts it off. So just clean them up. Warm, soapy water. Clean up these three pieces. Clean the threads on both the cap and on the, uh, on the uh, uh, top of the PIV, power inflate valve, that means. Clean it all off with a toothbrush. Make sure everything is spotlessly clean. A little bit of silicone grease on everything. Here's a place where silicone grease should be used. You don't always want to put silicone grease everywhere, but here's one place where you sh should use some. And then what you need to do is put it all back together. Now, to get it back together is a little bit hard unless you pull the cable. So you need to have two people or hold the valve like so, so it goes down like that. You're watching here, Kev? I'm going to pull down yep. so the valve goes down. Uh, place the things back in order. O-ring goes in first. It's that simple. Oh, good. And now this goes in on top of that. You'll know it's in the proper way. It won't go in the wrong way. But also you know it's in the proper because the exhaust valve is facing out. So you know, air, can you see that, Kev? Air can, can come out like that. And then after you hold that, hold that valve down snugly. Now put the cap on. Don't cross-thread it. The plastic thread, put that on. Ugh. Ooh, that was expensive and tough and hard. And that's why you pay local dive store servicemen so much money. <laughs> really pretty easy. Part of normal service for a BC anyway. Now there is another dump valve. At least one other dump valve. Many BCs have two or three. I don't know. You can get too many. 
I don't know if you need a whole bunch of them, but there is another dumb valve, at least one on this BC, it's on the back. It looks like this. And most of these dumb valves will have some kind of a mechanism like this. You see that, Kevin? There's a cord with a knob. So if you want to dump air out of the bottom back of the BC, you pull on that, air comes out. Now, why would you want to let air to the bottom back of the BC? Air comes out the top, not the bottom. Well, if you, for some reason, were face down underwater, or if, you, if, if your head was down and, and, and the, the BC was up and you wanted to dump some air, you could reach back, hopefully find that knob and pull it. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but those dump valves are usually on BCs in case that particular situation does arise. And this dump valve should also be clean. And it's just as easy as the other one, just unscrew it. This one's actually easier because this one doesn't come entirely apart. Let me show you what I mean. That's it. So there's the sealing surface. There's the threads. Clean them up nicely. That does not come off the BC. Don't take it off. And then here's the mechanism. There's a spring in there. Where are you? Where's your camera focus there, Kevin? You see it? There's a whole valve right there. There's a, 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 a soft rubber seal here. And that's attached by a cord. You can see the cord. And held in place by a spring. And when you pull on that knob, all you do is compress the spring and let the air out. Normally that spring pushes it tight against the seal. So clean it all up. A little bit of grease on that seal there. Make sure the threads are nice and clean. Now to get it back on, you have to pull the cord like so. And then, be careful with this too. It's very easy to cross thread these plastic threads on this, this type of dump valve. So get it in nice and straight. Make sure it's going in there straight. And this is where you need two people. Kevin, are you busy? So pull on the cord. Screw it in. There we go. Nice and easy. Snuggly. Done. I see you service a dump valve. It's easy. You really can't do anything wrong. And uh, if you did and it broke or something happened, it wouldn't be expensive. So it's like, you know, if you're handy and you like looking at your own gear, knowing how it works, now you do, and you want to try cleaning it, fixing it yourself, there you go. That's how you service the, the dump valves on your BC. Hope that was interesting. Maybe for some of you, uh, you got some ideas there. Take care. Talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.